He is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. We open in prayer this Friday. Heavenly Father, we thank you this day for the good you have prepared for us by the suffering and death of your Son. Cause him, who is our life and salvation, to be our example and our God, that we may seek not to be served, but to serve. Remember your children everywhere as you keep them in their baptismal grace. Help us to put to death the old nature as we were buried with Christ in baptism. Raise us again to new life as we are risen with Christ in baptism. Help us to grow in knowledge that Christ may be formed in us. In his name we pray. Amen. Our writing today comes from the Solid Declaration again with a quote from the Gospel. Whoever would be saved should not trouble or torment himself with thoughts about God's secret counsel, about whether he also is elected and ordained to eternal life. Miserable Satan usually attacks with these thoughts and afflicts godly hearts. But they should hear Christ, who is the book of life, and hear about God's eternal election to eternal life for all of his children. Christ testifies to all people without distinction that it is God's will that all people should come to him. Who labor and are heavy laden with sin in order that he may give them rest and save them. According to Christ's teaching, they should abstain from their sins, repent, believe his promise, and entirely entrust in him, since we cannot do this by ourselves, by our own powers. The Holy Spirit desires to work these things, repentance and faith in us, through the word and sacraments, in order that we may receive this, persevere in it, and remain steadfast. We should beg God for his grace, which he has promised us in holy baptism. No doubt he will give it to us according to his promise, as he has said. What father among you, from the Gospel of Luke, what father among you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give, instead give him a fish, give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, give him a scorpion? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Let's pray. O Lord, let your mercy, your merciful ears, be attentive to the prayers of your servants. And by your word, spirit, and spirit, teach us how to pray that our petitions may be pleasing before you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And God's people said, Amen. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.